Welcome to Mancinelli's Math Lab. This was a requested video. Pretty interesting stuff. Very cool idea. I want to, well, show that the survival characterization of the expected value is true. In other words, this is sometimes referred to as the Darth Vader rule. I want to show that this holds for specifically a random variable which is discrete and takes on the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to infinity. So I have some details written down here. First of all is that this is the PMF. I'm just going to use this formulation as the mass function. So there's my probability mass function. This is the CDF, the cumulative distribution function. And I wrote that down only because, in case you didn't know, this is what the survival function is. The survival function is just uh, the, well, it's just the one minus the CDF. It's just the complement of the CDF, that's all it is. So this is a survival function. And I wanna show that the expected value is equivalent to summing up the values of the survival function. So here we go. Um, let's give myself, well, let's give myself some space. So this is what we know. We know this, we know that um, the expected value of x is equal to, in this case, for our random variable, it's equal to k equals 0 to infinity x times p of x. Just the typical definition of the expected value. And now I want to do some manipulation with this. So the proper way to do this is to not look at an infinite sum. You can't really do things with an infinite sum, but you can look at a finite sum. So we have that the sum from k equals 0 to n of, and son of a bitch, I mean, son of a whatever, whatever you insert, whatever makes you feel comfortable. <laughs> I should have put a k there, right? So this is sum k p of k. All right, uh, what is this equal to? This is equal to the usual thing. It will omit zero, I plug in zero, it's gone. So this is one times probability one plus two times probability two plus all the way up to n times probability n. This is equal to, nothing up my sleeves here, no magic needed, this is equal to 1 times probability 1 plus probability 2 plus probability n. So I just added on a bunch of terms that, well, it's not equal so far, right? Plus 2 minus 1 probability 2 plus all the way up to probability n. Take a step back, make sure you understand what I just did. Um, this is two, time, 2 minus 1. So in other words, if I distribute this whole quantity into the negative 1, everything from the previous term cancels. 1 times probability, or 1 times probability 2, 1 times probability 3, 1 times probability n. But now I have minus 1 times probability 2, minus 1 probability n. So those will cancel. Right? I need to keep going. Plus 3 minus 1, probability 3, all the way up to probability n. Keep going. Up to uh, n minus n minus 1, probability n. So in each step, and this is kind of the only hand wavy part, I think, is that each step. Some terms here will cancel the previous one so that everything is equivalent to this. If you don't believe me, what I recommend doing, pick an example where n is like three or four. Try going through this argument, you'll see that everything cancels. All right, now what? So I have all this. Now notice uh, that of course this is one, but then this is one, this is one, and also this is one. So what we have is the following. We have that the sum from k equals 0 to n of k times the probability that basically x equals k, that's how you can read that, right, is equal to this stuff. What is this stuff? Every coefficient in front is 1. What is this? This is the sum from, say, x equals 1 to n. So this is the sum from x equals 1 to n of uh, let's just say, yeah, probability x. That's what this is. I mean, plug in 1, I get probability 1. Plug in 2, 
etc. Right? Plus the sum x equals 2 to n probability x plus the sum from x equals n to n probability x. Hopefully you see what just happened here. This is the sum from x equals 1 to n of probability x. This is the sum from x equals 2 from the, to n of probability x. The sum from x equals 3 to n probability x. This is the sum from x equals n to n of probability x. I mean, that's just obviously probability n. Now what? Well, this is equal to the sum. Now, I want to add these up. I mean, this itself, this is a sum of sums. Yeah, so this is the sum from k equals 1 to n of the sum from x equals k to n of probability x. That's all well and good. We're almost there. Uh, we're almost there. What does the inner sum say? What is this equal to? This is the probability that k is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to n. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. That's exactly what that is. So, what can I say now? Then, the expected value of x is equal to the limit as n tends to infinity of this business, k equals 0 to n, k p k, but that's equal to this. That is equal to this, which is equal to, now, what happens when I take n to infinity here? Well, let me just write uh, this, well, let's see, I don't wanna say this. Um, yeah, let's just say this, so limit n to infinity of the double sum, k equals one to n, and then x equals k to n, px. All right, this is kind of weird, this is kind of weird. Um, but if I take n to infinity, then this is equal to the sum from k equals one to infinity. Now uh, I'm taking right here, if I take n to infinity, then this is now probability that x, uh, x is greater than uh, k, x greater than or equal to k, which is the survival characterization which is exactly that, right? So this is, um, take n to infinity, then this is exactly probability x greater than or equal to k, probability x greater than or equal to k, which is equal to, um, actually this is k minus one. This is actually, no, this is k. which is the sum uh, from k equals zero to infinity, probability x greater than or equal to, no, just greater than, strictly greater than, strictly greater than k, which is equal to the sum from k equals zero to infinity of the survival function of K of survival function of K. That does it actually, right? Because the effective value of X is equal to sum up all of the complements of the CDF. Remember, the survival function of X uh, is one minus the CDF. So the expected value of X is equal to summing up, equivalent to summing up all of the survival functions going from k equals zero to infinity. Hope it was helpful. Tell me what you think.